Okay, right, folks, it's Mick again, and back with our, well, it's going to be a second unboxing video today, but based on the order of which you're watching them. Maybe it's your first, maybe it's your third, I don't know. Um, Fox is always on the camera. Say hi, Fox. Hey, what's up, guys? And what we're going to get into now is <coughs> Loot Crate. Uh, the, the number Loot Crate, I do know the theme. Um, it's something like mysticism, uh, which, and I do know there was a Doctor Strange item in it. But that's the only thing I know about it, so... How, mis how into mysticism are you there, Foxy? Uh, I was more of an alteration magic guy. So, Skyrim. something that I don't know, there's a yeah. chance you won't know either. Okay. Well, let me, open, let me take out the big item, which... This is what I think is the Doctor Strange thing. Um, yes, it is. Okay, this is... And I guess I'll take it out of the box, since it's... This is what they call a Q-fig. And I think, like, there's a lot of people who collect, like, the Pops. Q-Fig's a little more involved. There's more mechanics to them. It's actually by, I think, Quantum Mechanics is the company. Hence why they call it Q-Fig. Um, one of the first ones they showed of this, I remember they did one of the Comic-Con boxes, and they made a Q-Fig of Aquaman standing on top of Cthulhu's Ch head. Cthulhu. Cthulhu's head. There you go. What he said. And I thought that was pretty cool. There's also a really nice Deadpool one. There's the Hulk. I briefly thought about trying to collect these, but they do tend to have a little more value to them than some of the pops do buying-wise. And, you know, my money gets invested in enough wormholes of collecting. So, But I do like it. That is something I will keep. It is something I, I can stand on my dresser with maybe some of the other items that don't necessarily have a group home, but just not bad. Or, who knows? Save the wormhole talk for the sci-fi block. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to have that as we talked about in the last one. <laughs> but I will say, um, hmm, this box is bubbling up. I will say that, oh, I guess you could use that. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. Um, I don't know, who knows? Or this could also be something that gets used in a giveaway. Hopefully, if it does, you won't care that we briefly opened it to show off to the people. I don't think we need that, but... It's a little I guess stand, that, right? I know, I think that was just the backing. Yeah, so it was supposed to be here. That's what the box was open, so it slid down. So when you look at the figure, it looks like he has that in the bag. I got you. Oh, I did. not bad. Good value. Oh, I hope it's a soul gem. I don't think we're going to get that. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, a journal, which these boxes are known for giving away. This is a Game of Thrones journal. Um, Melisandre. The night is dark and full of terrors. Yeah. Now, I'll be honest with you, if it didn't say Game of Thrones on it, I wouldn't have known that because I do not watch Game of Thrones. Um, but I know lots of people do. But I do like the journal because... They could come in handy. Who doesn't need a journal? Light stuff down. Wow. Um, you need the Lord of the Light. Is that the enemy? In that's the their god. Thrones? That well, that she worships. That, that that that's her religion. Melisandre, the Red Witch. Ah, oh, look at you knowing all Game of Thrones stuff. Ah, and you got a little thing about who she is in there, Melisandre. Oh wait, there. Let it focus. <laughs> Oh, if you guys are quick on the pause button, <coughs> better read that. <coughs> or you could just rewind it and pause it. And What's the back it? look like? Let's say that. You got a photo or anything? No, no photo. Just, just do all HBO insignia. Oh, cool. Well, well, that's neat. Yeah. That's neat. Have you, f you, have, you have a journal I gave you from one of these boxes. Yeah. Have you filled it up yet with all your jokes and materials? Oh, my mom took it. Your mom yeah, took it? Yeah, she likes, she likes The Walking Dead. So. Okay, I think she just might be like quick. Okay. Oh, that's good. She's around. Yeah. We're still shopping around for dad, so. Let's see. And, and he was recently made single. <laughs> ah, next we have a comic. Um, big Trump. You know what? This is interesting. I, I like it just because it's a crossover that couldn't possibly really happen. So that's why it has to happen in the comics. It is a crossover between Escape from New York, Escape from L.A., and Big Trouble in Little China. Pliskin? Oh, man, they're screwed. Well, Snake Pliskin is the one, but the other one is also the same actor. You know, I forget his name in Big Trouble in Little China. 
And I don't know if Snake Twiskin could take on these people too well. Oh, he can. If you saw, if he you can. saw uh, Big Trouble. He, no took, he took down Metal Gear. I don't know. I, like, I, will, I don't read many of the comics that come in these because I'm more DC Marvel based, but I will check it out. I know. Let's take a look at the t-shirt, which, again, I will say the Loot Crate's t-shirts are a little better quality than the Nerd Blocks. Um, at least it feels that way. They definitely feel softer, which also means they probably shrink when you, put, when you, when you dry them, which isn't good. So you're going to have to hang them. going to have to draw, hang them. Yes, what is this? This is um, Become and Abbreviator Recruiting Now. Oh. And do you know what this deals with? It doesn't deal with you who's oblivious to things. No, I want to say Starship you? Troopers, but I'm not sure. No, what about you, Fox's wife? Captain America. Captain America, no. It is some Fantastic Beasts, which I only know because the tag says it's some Fantastic Beasts. Oh. Mm. But, you know, it's a nice t shirt. It's cool. It looks cool. You could convince somebody to abbreviate who is a woman. You know, what the hell? And is that it? Is it only four items? We gotta fill that some more things in here. Oh. We have a pin. It feels like a pin anyway. Um I I don't even know where this is from. Where is the Elder Scrolls from? Ha ha ha! Oh, I used to know where that was from until I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's really cool. Where's it from? Elder Scrolls? It's yeah. a universe. Skyrim is, the, is one of the lands, <coughs> Morrowind. Okay, I did not know that. That's Mysticism why. is a magic school that you could yes. study. That is why I asked that question. But it's a nice looking mm. pin, and it's unique because it's a pin, and you, but you have it hollow in the center. You hear any gossip lately, Mick? <coughs> I hear there's dragons returning. Oh, is that how that stuff works? Yeah. And next we have... Oh, oh actually, that's kind of neat. I forgot about that. Loot Cake gives like you a whole little magazine on things. Um, oh, apparently you could use this box and turn it into this. Whoa. Which um, I'm not going to practice origami right now with you, um, but you can take a look at what's going to look like when it's over with. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, maybe Fox wants to assemble it later. You're welcome to try. Wait, make you're over encumbered. You can't move. Huh? The Elder Scrolls joke. They give you a whole, yeah, they give you a whole magazine on all this stuff. Um, okay. Did the phone ring it, Matt? It's okay. We don't need, we're not stopping. Um, okay, I'm going to look through this some more. Figure out a little more about some of the stuff I wasn't familiar with. But, I tell you what, folks, that is box number two. Uh, have some links down below to Loot Crate also to us. Um, check them out and come on back because another one's coming. Yeah.